G'day guys, welcome back. Welcome to Pouring Your Heart Out. Now today, I thought I'd try and make some resin ripples. Now you've seen me do the crushed velvet technique quite a few times. And uh, this time I thought I'd put down some um, sea glass. So I've got a, a lot of sea glass here in different shapes. And uh, I thought I'll cover that with plastic. And... Um, <laughs> See if when I take it out, I get like a ripple effect on the bottom. So I, I don't know. I just placed these where I kind of wanted them. I've left a, hopefully I've left a big enough gap in between each because I need the plastic to go down into those little gaps. And I thought if I made it, made the gaps too small, um, the plastic wasn't going to get in there. This is just a plastic bag um, that I've, I've cut. Um, and hopefully, yeah, hopefully the, the resin will go down into those. I, I don't know. We'll, we'll find out. I'm using my Platinum Ultra Clear because it's a really clear, it's a really thin resin. So, yeah, look, if it doesn't work, I may have to take a few um, of the sea glass out and make bigger sort of channels between each one. But we'll, we'll see. We won't know until we see. So we'll, we'll just get started anyway. I'm going to use some Ocean Resin Tint by Colour Passion. It's really pretty color. Don't want it too dark. Now this is my geode tray. This is the large. I've got an extra large, which is massive. But um, this is just the large. Uh, I will link it down in the description if anybody wants it. So you can see it's just a really pretty aqua kind of a blue color. You make sure that you stir it really well to get the streaks out. I should be stirring more gently so I don't get bubbles in it. Oh gosh. All right, now it looks really dark in there, but just to test the color, put it on a piece of paper towel so that you can see. See, that's that's to me is not dark enough. It looks dark in here because it's so deep, but there you can see it's not. So I'll add an extra two drops. Oops, whoops. Let me go on my plastic, please. And uh, we'll see how that goes. So yeah, I'm not, I don't know. I've seen, I've seen like a similar sorts of things going around on Instagram, social media, but I think a lot of people have been using like clay or plaster or I'm not sure to make mounds, but I thought I'm just going to try this first. See how that goes with the plastic and the stones. So anyway, just a fun little project, something different today. All right, let's see how that's looking. How's that? So it's very thin there, like it's not very deep. So I think, look, we'll go with it and um, we'll just see. We'll just see what happens. Oh, that's going to be very... Mind you, water is... Water is light, isn't it? It's light colored. All right, let's just let's just pour this on. Oh, make sure it doesn't overflow. Um, I haven't put made up too much resin because I wasn't, you know, exactly sure if it was going to work and how much I needed and all that kind of thing. So I made up 350 grams, basically 250 grams. Oh, look at that! 250 grams of part A and 157 grams of part B. See what happens when you don't stir properly. It's probably stuck to the side of the cup. It's okay. I can just blend. All right. So here we go. <laughs> this is this is going to be interesting. So I can see some ripples already happening there. Oops, I've got some unmixed tint. I need another stick. I kind of need like chopsticks here just to... Push the plastic down. Don't tear the plastic. Oh my God. Can you imagine if I tore the plastic and all the resin went through the holes? Get it down there. Yeah, gotta be careful because see the, sh the sea glass, even though it's tumbled glass, it, it may have some sharp edges and you don't want to tear your plastic. So hold that and then push that down. And then if I need to, I can make up a little bit more resin. Just going to make sure that doesn't 
go down behind my plastic. Ooh. I might just pull it this way just a bit. I don't want the resin going down through my plastic on the other side of my plastic. So far, so good, you guys. So far, so good. Oh, gosh. Get in there. Get in there. So I hadn't really thought too much about what the edges were going to look like because, you know, they've, I've got crinkled plastic in there. But I think it's just going to be one of these things where it's just going to be a bit sort of artistic. Plastic sticking to the side there of the mold. I need to lift it up a little bit. Yeah, just a bit sort of artistic and maybe not as finished <laughs> as one would normally do. Oops, I shouldn't have laid that down. Um, but yeah, we'll just we'll just see. Now I've got to be careful that I've got to be careful that this edge doesn't go under. Probably could have used a bigger bag. <laughs> But um, my bigger bags are um, a thicker plastic, They're like a, a 100 UM thicker plastic. This one, I think, is only like a 50 UM. And I wanted it to be really thin so it would go into all the little crevices. So anyway, I will just play with this a little bit more. I've kind of got to release the edges so that I can move it, move the plastic into the center like that a little bit more. Push it in. But basically, it's looking fab. <laughs> now, be, really be careful when you torch, okay? If you're going to torch, I probably wouldn't torch because you're going to melt the plastic bag, okay? So don't do it. How's that looking? I think that's ripply enough, isn't it? Isn't that ripply enough? Maybe just a little bit more. You've got to kind of release the plastic from the side so that you can push it forward. I don't think it needs to be really, really deep ripples. To make sure we get into all the little edges here and I'll spend some time doing that getting into all the little edges um, and then I think what I'll do I think what I'll do is I'll just try and trim these a little bit so that they do kind of stand straight up like so how's that Let's try and trim them because, yeah, I need the edges of the plastic bag to kind of stand straight up and not that way they um, the resin will go into the edges there. All right, um, you probably don't want to watch me trimming all this and then just, I'm just going to have a fiddle, you know what I'm like, and uh, make sure that we've got the resin into all those little, little edges. I've got plastic bag stick to my... Stir stick. So you can see what I mean about having gaps in between. You've got to have your gaps in between. Your, all your pebbles. Otherwise, um, you know, the plastic's just going to go right over the top. It's not going to go in between there. I think I do need to get a little bit more in between. I'm going to pull the plastic out a little bit and see if I can get a little bit more into the middle there. A little bit more rippling going on. Oh, it's looking really good though. It's looking really good. Oh my gosh. All right, I'll bring it down in a second. You can just have a look and see what it's kind of looking like from my angle. Let's trim that. Oops, a little bit more there. Not too much. In case you want to tuck a little bit more into the center all right it's looking good let's go down and have a little look and then I will keep fiddling until I'm happy with it oh, ring lights ring lights do my head in but you can see hopefully you can see what I mean so you can kind of push in there like that and then it makes that ripple. You do have to just allow yourself enough 
plastic though. So yeah, so I'm going to go around and I'm going to push, push it all in around the edges because I haven't done, oh, look at that one's, oh, I shouldn't have cut it all off. So anyway, this, this is going to be my tray. And then once this is cured, um, yeah, I think I can, I think I put the handles on, can't I? Yeah, yeah, I can. I can put the handles on. I'll just wait a little bit until it's kind of thickened a little bit. Um, and then I'll come back and I want to show you what I'm going to do for the handles. It's, oh my God, it's going to be amazing. It's going to be amazing if it works. All right, see you soon. Righto, I am back for the second layer. And uh, I had a bit of a trouble with the first one. This may look a bit different to you because it is. So when I came back to check it about an hour later, um, I'd noticed that I was getting this ripple effect on this side and then that side was just just blue and I thought oh what's going on here and I lifted the plastic and the resin was underneath so all I can think of when I was pushing the plastic down that it must have one of the pieces of glass has sliced through the plastic because I mean it is glass and there were a couple of sharp edges so I picked it all up threw it out had to clean off all my pebbles on my sea glass with um, isopropyl alcohol. I've got a bigger piece of plastic this time. <laughs> same, um, same thinness. Um, the thicker plastic just does not get into all the little grooves enough. So you've got to use a thin plastic. Um, and the only thing I did differently was um, the gaps between the sea glass, I made them bigger. So instead of having gaps that, that big, I had gaps this big this time, just to try and get the plastic in the gaps without it tearing okay so that's all I did and then I've got my top coat oh <laughs> touch the bottom in there oh gosh I'm not having a good day today I tell you now I've just put one drop of the same blue in here I don't want to make it any darker than what it already is so um, the bottom is the first coat is just tacky so this next coat is my Platinum 360 plus um, because I know it's going to go off pretty quick. So the first layer and the second layer will probably go off at the same time. The bottom one takes longer to cure, the top one takes less time to cure, but it's going to be on there for less time. So hopefully they'll both just finish together. All right, push that to the edges. I can't really see where it's starting where it's stopping so and then um, once this has gone a bit sticky tacky we'll pop the handles in yeah I'm not quite sure what the edges are going to do they're probably not going to be all that beautiful and smooth because it's going to be kind of ripply because of the the plastic how it goes around the bends there like it's not going to be totally smooth but I guess if you wanted to um, you could <laughs> to be easy you could just do it in a round tray get yourself a round tray um, or a rectangle tray a square tray anything that might be a little bit easier than trying to go around bends like I've gone I made it difficult for myself um, but yeah I guess if I'm not real happy with the edges I can always sand them and then um, Give them a coat with a silver pen, which is what I was kind of thinking of doing anyway. Um, but yeah, you could definitely go around and, and sand those edges. So I may well do that. If it works out really pretty, um, I'll just get my Dremel and um, do, do the edges and then go over them again with a silver pen. Because once you've sanded the resin, um, you get that sort of cloudy look to it. Um, they're not going to be shiny again, so yeah, you just have to go around with the silver pen, which I think would look nice. Um, so that's pretty much it. I think it's full. Uh, it's it's probably a little bit fuller than the actual mold, but because I've got the plastic there, it's um it's kind of creeping up a little bit. But I mean, you could take take a little bit out. Mm, not much really. I think it'll be fine. So yeah, um, I'm not exactly sure, you know, what it's going to look like once it's done. Because once I take 
once I take it out of the mold uh, lift it up I guess with the plastic on it all the sea glass will stay behind and I can reuse them um, peel the plastic off and then the back or the underside is going to be all bumpy which will be the bottom of your tray but hopefully we'll still be able to see that um, rippled effect especially with the light on it so I don't know what that is it's a bit of glitter in there how about we just get that out night now it might have been stuck to my cup and then when I my back of the bottom of the cups hit it all right so I think that's about it um, do you want me to show you now what the handles are? You might have seen already. They were over there, <laughs> over there. All right. Are you ready? Are you ready for this? Are you ready for this? Okay. Are you ready? Drum roll, please. Ta-da. These are going to be my handles, you guys. Aren't they gorgeous? The little turtles. I think they, you know, thick enough that you can hold on to. I must get the paper off, I guess. Eh, it's not going to come off. Anyway. <laughs> Um, I'm going to put one here and one here. And they're going to be my handles. <laughs> I just can't. I just can't. I just... Uh. Anyway. So we'll wait until it's tacky enough. Because if I put them in now, uh, the resin's like that deep. They're just going to sink. So let it come nice and tacky. And then I'll just sit them on. Maybe push them down a little bit. Um, yep. And all, all good. Because at the moment... Mm, let's see. It's about. I don't know, can you see the? It's about half a centimeter deep at the moment, so I don't really want to go putting my turtles in there because then I'm going to lose. Mm, might be all right. I'll just lose about that much from there, I guess. But I want to be able to have a nice, be able to hold on to them. So I really need that depth. All right, so. Um, I'll see you in a few hours and uh, we'll put our handles in. Okay, guys, so I have been thinking about... I didn't end up taking the paper off. <laughs> um, I was thinking about which way to put these little guys. And... Um, no one will see that. And I thought, well, if I put them this way, the fin or flip is going to stick out quite a long way. Um, if I push it further over the flipper is going to be hanging over the edge I don't know whether I should do that and then I thought well what about if I put it that way because it's narrower there and then wider there and then I thought they could kind of be looking at each other so <laughs> I can't really decide if I want to do them this way I can't decide if I do it that way the flipper is going to be hanging over is that going to see if I try to sand the edge that's going to hit so I thought oh, look I'll just do it this way shall we we'll just do it this way so, because um, it's got a nice curve there and that's got a nice curve there. So I think that should look quite nice, shouldn't it? So we'll just put it there, push him down. The same on this side. I know it's a slightly different shape, but hopefully it'll, it'll work. I'll just put him there and then I'll look at them and then I can decide if I want to move it a tiny bit, tiny bit back. Okay push him down all right good to go now in the morning um i'll be able to take the plastic off i'm not going to touch it now i'm not going to i want to but i'm not so there we go so that's kind of what it's going to look like so um yeah i will see you guys tomorrow right oh it's the next day this has set <laughs> my little turtles are hanging on there so, I guess there's only one thing left to do, hey? we we'll get this plastic out. That, that came out easily, didn't it? Oh. I can take all... Oh, there's, there's, oh, there's a couple of bits left. Hang on, there we go. I thought they were all out. Get all those out. I think that's all of them. So these... Um, oh, yeah, I can use again. Now, you just have to be careful when you're putting anything in your mould that... You know, these may leave a mark. Um, you know when you're doing the um, uh, the water drop effects, you know how you put the UV resin on, the little dots, and sometimes when you take them off, you see the little dot marks. So you just got to be careful. Um, I think if you're going to do anything like that, maybe use an, an old mould or um, 
put down a piece of plastic first, like cut your plastic first, um, and then oh, there's another one. <laughs> and there's another one, gosh. And then put them down just so it doesn't leave any marks on your mould. But all right, let's get this plastic off. Oh, look at my edges. <laughs> they're really, they're really wonky. But I mean, I knew they were going to do that. Maybe that can just be part of the art of it, hey? Maybe it can be. I mean, I'll have to trim up a little bit because they're a bit sharp. But maybe we can leave. Oh, I'm getting little bits of loose resin flicking over the top. All right, let's peel this off and see what we've got, hey? It looks so cool. <laughs> actually quite thick too. It's about half an inch. Oh, maybe not quite half an inch. 10 or 12 millimeters thick. Peel that off. There we go. That's it. It's off. <laughs> look at that. Oh, let me clean up a bit here. Let's get rid of some of this. A little bits of loose resin off the top. I should get my little blower out and blow it. There you go. Look at that. Wow. Should we see what the back looks like too? There's a bit of a little piece, a little bit of loose resin sitting under there. I will I will tidy these up a little bit because look, that's that's quite sharp there. <laughs> Let's see what the back looks like, shall we? There you go. That's quite a full, cool effect as well, actually. You can um, you can see all the like it's not it's not flat on the back you know it's where all the little pebbles were. That is so cool. Oh look at that. Um, we need to go and look at it um, in a different light. I'm just going to trim off a few of these and uh, we might take it outside. Hey, let's do that. It's a nice sunny morning. Okay, so here we are outside. Gorgeous sunny winter's morning. It's cold. It's about. 12 degrees Celsius but um, it's a gorgeous sunny day look at that blue skies you wouldn't think it was winter would you all right so here we go here's the tray I actually don't mind the edges um, I think they match because they've got that sort of rippled effect on the edges it matches the rippled effect in the middle you know maybe it, it wouldn't look quite as nice if the sides were just straight and smooth what do you what do you think i i think they match really well maybe i should make a mold out of it and sell the molds would you like a mold like this then you could create the same thing <laughs> i think it's really cool the ripple so um yeah hope you've enjoyed the video the turtles sit nicely on top there they've got a nice height i can still use them you know as handles if you don't want to use it for something you can just pop it on a, a plate stand and have it as a piece of art now people do paintings they do oil, oil paintings and watercolors and things and it's you don't use them you just pop them up on the wall to look at because they're beautiful so why can't resin be like that it's just it can be a piece of art it doesn't always have to be a functional piece you know what I mean you can make something beautiful just to look at that's my thoughts anyway <laughs> all right thank you so much for watching hope you've enjoyed the video let me know what you think of it and uh, i'll see you all again real soon for the next one okay take care guys bye for now